What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and here we go again. <laughs> Capcom, Capcom, Capcom. I don't know why some developers do what they do because it seems to be, you know, counterproductive when it comes to overhead and making money. But Capcom apparently once again has given Dead Rising to the Xbox and Windows for timed exclusivity. Now, Xbox One got Dead Rising 3. I have that game. And it was a permanent exclusive for the Xbox One brand. I believe it did come to PC at some point. But they're apparently doing it again. Which to me is hard for me to believe. Because there are so many more PlayStations out there. Why wouldn't you make this a multi-plat? But anyway, I'll drop a link in the description. Dead Rising 4, the new Capcom zombie killer, was announced at E3 and is coming to both Xbox One and Windows. Microsoft has revealed Dead Rising 4 will be an exclusive, though timed on Xbox One and Windows 10, when it releases later this year. Microsoft said in a statement to GameSpot, quote, Dead Rising 4 on Xbox One is developed by Capcom and will be published in partnership with Microsoft. Fans will be able to play Dead Rising 4 first on Xbox One and Windows 10 PC this December. It will remain a Windows 10 exclusive for the first 90 days and console exclusive on Xbox One for one year. We've had a close and long-standing relationship with Capcom, including the launch of Dead Rising as an Xbox 360 exclusive and Dead Rising 3 as an Xbox One exclusive. We're thrilled to partner with Capcom once again to help bring their ambitious version of Dead Rising 4 to life." End quote. The different exclusivity periods may suggest that the zombie killing game will come to Steam after the 90 days Windows period and to PlayStation 4 a whole year after being available on Xbox One. With the timing like that, gamers may have to either find a new way to kill their zombies or put the cash up for an Xbox One, for those diehard Sony fans at least. Dead Rising 4 will be the third exclusive Dead Rising title for Xbox, along with the first and third game, as only Dead Rising 2 came to PlayStation 2. Um, you know, I like exclusivity deals, I, but it just blows my mind that developers throw away money like that. I don't know how it's going to work out for these, for these type of titles. Like, we're going to wait till the end of the year, we're going to see exactly what happens with Tomb Raider, and that may be a defining characteristic of what happens with these timed exclusives. Tomb Raider and the Xbox One sold horribly. It really did. Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One only sold 1.2 million copies, and that's up until now. So will this bode well for Dead Rising 4? And since release, Dead Rising 3 on the Xbox One has only sold a measly 1.5 million units. When you tie that up with a 20 million Xbox One console install base, that's pretty bad. It's hard for me to believe that Capcom would openly just do this again. And it seems like doing these kind of moves honestly hurts your franchises more than it helps them. I mean, Tomb Raider, Dead Rising, these games did not do well with these timed exclusive deals. And I guess we'll see later on this year what happens with Tomb Raider once it releases on PS4. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Dead Rising 4 coming to the Xbox One and PC. We've got some timed exclusivity deals happening here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take off.